Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is the Fatless Bear, this is your Soybeats Gaming Channel, and today we're here in Inanna, I believe it's called. And yeah, uh, we got stuff to do. We just made it through the Forest of Death, or the Desert of Death, the Frontier of... Whatever it's called, we, we made it through there. And uh, let's continue on without delay, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today as we're gonna go explore the city at night. But first, we're gonna go up here. Although I don't think there's any more stardust in this place. But there is a chest. We got a mood serenade. Yeah. I'll try to have equipment or some sort of secret, but whatever. Place is very pretty at night. Doo. Hope we all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Now our way is opened. Shana, I'll be there soon. Rose. You really forgive. Don't say anything. It's already in the past. You know, I was wondering about this. About how he feels about her. And I think I, I think there were some really awesome people in the comment section who basically said, you know, Dart's life is so messed up right now. Between his dad being one of the most evil person on the planet versus Shauna versus like everything else that's happening. His mind probably isn't in the right place. However, if he's solely focused on Shauna, then nothing else matters. So the fact that he's saying here, don't say anything, it makes total sense to me. Because he's like, I don't care. I just want to save my girl, right? And maybe the whole planet while we're at it. Take your sword. You have become strong. You can take care of yourself. Kill me. Wait, so we were fine and now we're not fine? Now we're dueling? This is kind of a weird transition here. Why? The black monster is dead now. We only have... A companion who is on the same road. I, I, I'll say it, I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't know if I agree with Dart here. But then again, if everything going through his head basically says I only care about Shauna, well then, so be it. I miss the time when you were chased by Fairbrand in the forest. Me too. And I didn't know anything back then. The world is so frail. The world is created so that it can perish at any time. The creator's sower can recreate one any time. But the people living there can accept it, believing it is fate or struggle against it. I struggled in order to protect this world that was taken back by friends who gave up their lives. I told you. You are no longer alone, Rose. Dart. In many ways, this game is a redemption story of Rose, too, isn't it? Like, she knows she's done horrible things, but she did horrible things to try to save the world. And now, she doesn't need to do any more horrible things, but at the same time, she has to stop the world from ending. Uh, it, 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 uh, there's a lot of story and lore here and character developments and motivations uh, I, I I maybe the only one who doesn't truly have a fleshed out as much character maybe Kongol but I think even he has some motivations going on I, I really love this cast because each character feels 
relevant or important. And I, I I really like that in a game. I like it in a game when the characters feel like they matter. Let's go see everybody. This is just the beginning. And I don't want to bash Final Fantasy VIII. But that's probably the biggest problem I have with Final Fantasy VIII. Is I didn't really feel like the characters mattered. And you, you, you can go listen to my ramblings about FF8 on... On that video if you want I'm not gonna dive into it but I really really like how all the characters matter hey Meru hey dart I was telling Karen about my forest it's totally fun that's right Karen and the others have been in the city forever exactly so I am telling her about the latest fashions outside <laughs> it seems you heard from everything about you heard about everything from Charlie where are the other people? I don't know. I think they are around here. But Dart, you should meet your other friends. Otherwise, you cannot go forward, can you? When you meet everybody, come again. I'll open the next way. By the way, if I slip up on text or anything... I'm recording this at 12.30 a.m. I just finished Final Fantasy Tactics earlier in the day, then I took a break, and I took a nap. And I got up and I said, I really, 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 really want to do a video for tomorrow. Uh, and I chose to do Leisure Dragoon, but like I said, it's 12.30, so uh, give me a break if I'm not all here right now. I I'm gonna have fun though. I yeah, absolutely. I love this game. It's that too. The reason why I hit roses is because I see my mother in roses. My mother never looked at me directly. It was as if she was hiding something from me. And she beat me up. Whoa! I didn't know what was going on and why she was doing it to me, but I remember at least one thing. There were always roses on the shelf behind my mother. Wow, that's messed up. But why did your mother leave you? Sorry, let's not talk about to me anymore. It's was the drinks. I don't think so. It is okay to be this way. Life is not always happy. Listening to your story reminds me of my past. About your runaway daughter, right? You are so sharp that it hurts. I hate being roundabout. I mean, the only thing more that could really but revelationize the story is if Miranda was uh, Hashel's long lost daughter that's not true though because he knew her daughter I mean he knew his daughter so that can't be a thing but that would be like wait what oh you guys are here when are we leaving Hashel has been drinking too much since we heard we are going to Vogue but that's right, drink a little more, and let's leave for Rogue uh, at once. Uh, 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 Give me a drink, too. May I join? I wanted to talk to you, Miranda. Same here. So she, 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 she picked up the sword, and he, and he fell on his... <laughs> I need so much drinks. <laughs> Shall we go? No, I, I, I was just picturing Hashel completely smashed. Have I ever been in this room before? During the time of the Dragon Campaign, Wingleys were divided into two camps. Each followed one of the leaders, Charlie and Melbourne, who were siblings. You might have not imagined. You might not have imagined it, but Charlie is the leader of the moderate Wingleys. An age when the world was ruled by the Winglies, in order to pay for that, we are now stuck in here. We'll have no quietude until we destroy the spirit of the God of Destruction. The spell of eternity indeed creates an immortal body, but also corrodes the heart. This is a place to heal the corroded heart from the spell of eternity. Enjoy yourself. I mean, how, much, how many swords do I have? I have 40. And I know there's one in the next town. And the most amazing fleeting day. 
actually screen capped all the stardust that I missed in picture form, which is just amazing. So as soon as I get fast travel, I'll be able to go back and get all the stardust. How do I leave this room though? Oh, right. Teleporter. I'm like running around trying to figure out what the exit is. Maybe it's not a good idea to report it until 30. <laughs> fine. I'm gonna have fun. I think we gotta go the other way first. Because we got a collective one. Which means there's still missing Albert and Congo. This place is so pretty at night. Come on, where are you two? There we go. So, we are leaving in the morning. Yes, we are. What are you doing here? <laughs> I like how Dart looked up at us and basically asked us that question. Uh, we don't know what will happen in ancient city of Wingbeats. We need strong weapon. Congo doesn't care about leader of creatures. Congo goes with you to the end. I like you too, big guy. For me too, it is no longer the mere problem of the moon gem. I cannot ignore this crisis of the world. You didn't imagine we wouldn't go with you, did you? I didn't. Hurry up if you want to buy humans in Kagato, your time is limited. It's already night out. You sure I want to go and drink. All right, fine, fine. We're leaving. Jeez. It is kind of funny that we're just hanging out in the shop with them all night. Standing in the darkness of the night, you feel almost like you've lost a sense of existence. Have you had this kind of experience? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What's that? Ah! Darkness signifies the uneasiness. Black signifies the sorrow. They are the colors of rose. There are two magic elements sealed in Rose's choker. One is open the signet of the city, and the other is immortality. Rose is immortal because of the magic of the choker. So she's like Melisandre from uh, Game of Thrones, isn't she? Didn't even realize that. You know, I remember one time uh, when I was younger, I worked at a grocery store, and there was this group of people who wouldn't leave the store and it was 30 minutes past closing time and we we couldn't kick people out of the store because our manager we didn't let us do that so i decided i'm gonna have uh two of our customer staff go up to the customers and i told them go up to them and in the nicest way possible ask them what you can do to help them out and you would do anything. They would get any groceries for you. They would get anything you need. Uh, just, they, they are there to help you 100% with your shopping experience. And uh, the customers looked and said, oh, you guys are closed, aren't you? And we were like, no, 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 it's okay. You can stay here as long as you want. We'll help you out. Just tell us what we need and uh, we'll get you it. And they were like, oh, uh, I didn't realize it was so late. Uh, let, let's go check it out. Like, are you sure? You, it's, it's all right. And like, yeah. I'm like, okay, here, let, let's come help you. And we were able to get him out of the store. <laughs> Why don't you go out, sweetie dart? I, I thought I did go out. And I do. Oh, oh, I gotta go. I forgot. I, I gotta go. Can you move out of my way, please? I, I gotta go back to Meru. Because Meru said, uh, come back when you have everyone. I thought I already had Mary with us because I saw her already. But yeah, I kind of forgot that she did say that, so. Final Fantasy Tactics was a lot of fun. There are times in the game when it drove me crazy, but it was a good time. I enjoyed it. We're gonna be playing Final Fantasy X next. 
And then, of course, after this RPG on the slot, we are going to be playing Omari. Hey, buddies. Can't always tell me about the teleporting device. It's not like back home. And when are we going? We already heard lots about it from Charlie, and we found out where we should go. You are coming too? Of course. Without me, the strongest of all, you cannot save the world. Yep, that's totally true. Besides, I learned a lot following Dart. Everybody's the same, Gagatos, Human, and Winglies. And I can't stand the destruction of a world where everybody lives. I think, for the first time, I agree with Meru. Is this the first time? <laughs> Leave here tomorrow morning. By that time, I'll be prepared so I can send you on the way that goes to the home of Gagantos from here. We can travel that far instantly? Then we might as well go directly to Oak. Our powers become weaker day by day. That is our maximum power. I understand. Take a boat to Oak. It should have been prepared in the Twin Castle a short while ago. Was there a dock in that castle? I asked King Zior and had to make one personally. I'm surprised that he listened to a Wingly. There are no humans or Winglies when it comes to the underworld. You don't need to thank us. Now it is not too much to say that the mission of the city is to send you off. Yes, and this is one way the city has been looking out after the world. Let's go back to Charlie. She must have prepared the bedrooms for us. It would be really nice if they teleported us right there, and I think they did. And it also switched my party to put Rose in for some weird reason. I think I will use Albert and Hashel like I have been. I think I need to have a major grinding session. Where I go to like one of the early areas and I just beat up on the weakest enemies possible that could be like no experience and no gold and just use them to power up additions and Dragoon levels. And basically get everything for everyone. Yeah. I think I need a major grind session. But I don't know when I can do that. Because that will probably take a few hours. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Charlie, what is this? Oh, naive boy, don't you understand? This is enough for great heroes. You shouldn't have. Don't be so shy. Rosie, honey, you have been doing really great. Since the solar divide embryo that guided destruction was released, you have saved the world, let me see, at least 107 times. Really, after everyone being called a black monster. Stop it. The monster has died. Ziggy is serious and he has everything to give birth to the God of Destruction. Only Dragoons could stop him. I wonder what Creator Soba is thinking. Like, destruction or regeneration? I wonder why it wants us to go through such a painful thingy. We will change fate. Everybody must survive, okay? Now go. Zig won't wait for us. Right. And away we go. Dark Frontier. Okay, so we're able to go right now. Oh! The home of the Gigato. Okay, so back door. Oh! Well, uh, that's, that's a thing. I didn't realize that was there. Home of Gigantos. It was linked to here. 
<laughs> it's been a while. Ma Karen and Gigantos were pals for a long time. Of course it was when there was still some Gigantos left. There were nice winglies like Charlie. They weren't all brutal people, unlike the legend tells. We had to rewrite the book in the National Library. Yes, correct knowledge brings correct conduct. That's after this journey has ended. We all survive. Let's go sing King Zior. We have to head to Rogue on the Queen Fury. And once again, Rose is just hanging out back there. Just chilling. I wonder if we can still get any counters here. I'm pretty sure he should be able to. Yep. Like flatten anything that attacks us. Well, we're gonna flatten anything that attacks us. That's what we're gonna do. Who knows, maybe I'll get like a rare drop here. That'd be cool. Yeah. Wow. This guy is so much weaker than us, and I missed. Take that, glory of sticks. I think there was, yeah, I think there's one Stardust I missed in Flats. So we could probably pick that one up on the way. I've already gotten the one here in the Homer Gigantos. Uh, the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. I gotta go all the way back? Oh, you gotta be kidding. I mean, it's not that far back, but still, it's... I mean, yeah, I, I don't think it's really that far back. It's, it, um, especially with the uh, the shortcuts here. But still, it's. Uh, I'll see you guys in like, I don't know, five minutes or so. I figured we might as well detour a little bit to head to Dino and find a Stardust in the sink. And I think that's the last one from Dino. What's interesting is a lot of them I missed from other locations like Lohan. There's three I missed from Lohan. There's one I missed from Hoax. So I missed four early on. And then I guess I got better at finding them. Because... Yeah, I, I, it's almost like I got better at finding them as time went on. Because I only missed about, what, like, four or five for the rest of the game. Anyway, uh, where are we heading? We're heading back to Flets. Back at Flets and picking up another Stardust. I wonder if that, uh guy is here or would he be in here no not here it'd be like the tavern area right here yeah I don't, I don't see him though Yeah, I, I don't see him here. Are that not grand source space the castle I made? Ta-da! A port! Of course, it's for the Queen Fury. Okay. I don't see the guy here, though. Mertz? Uh, I forget his name. Really, really important, dude. Stardust, dude. Because I have over 40 now, so I should be able to get the next reward. A long time to see, folks. You're free to come and go as you wish. Thank you. Need to take a ride on the Queen Fury. Oh, wow. Look at this welcome. Look at this welcome. This is so different from the last time I was here. Dart. I have been waiting for you. What is this? We are seeing you all. 
We received a messenger from Charlie. Her name was Karen. Everything is ready for going to vote. The world must not be destroyed. Even if it was the attention of the creator, we are still alive and living. I beg of you, please save the world. Commodore Pueller is waiting for you in the basement. The carrier hope. That's such a cool scene. I like this. Like, that's so neat. So long. The only thing missing from that scene was, you know, Albert and the, the, the princess basically saying, you know, come back to me. And he looks at her and says, don't worry, I will. Or something, you know what I mean? I would have, like, he's here in this scene, but why was he in the previous scene? Oh, you are here. Oh, everybody looks confident. Although you are going to an unknown lot, there is no hesitation or worry. Actually, it's my own village. I might not say it's a bother, but there's little details. <laughs> Anyway, we are ready to go. We absolutely had to stop this crazy conspiracy to annihilate the world. However, we should never give up rescuing our loved ones either. Ho ho! Oh, let us be going to art. I have no idea what. <laughs> the ocean awaits you. The Commodore makes it sound simple, but I assume that this time it will be a long journey, won't it? Yes, it will. Then I think you better get what you need for the city and come back. Thank you. It's okay, I'm happy to help you, Dart. Besides, please, please rescue Shauna. Aww. We give you our promise. Uh, of course you will. Uh -huh. I'll be waiting for you on the boat. I see no reason to stick around. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's go. Let us go. I, I don't plan on doing any grinding right now. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready? Absolutely, we're ready. Now, we are leaving. I have no doubts in my mind. Oh, I gotta control the boat. Sailing, sailing, I wanted to press square to see what we'd find in here. Oh, look over there. Sail. Uh, if you want to go back to the world map, talk to me, Commander Peeler. You got it. Ho ho. Oh, hi, hi. You enjoying this boat trip? Yeah, I am, but I want to. I mean, we may not get many options to explore the boat, and I want to make sure we don't miss anything. I don't see Rose up here. The sailing has been so smooth that it's hard to see alert. Oops, what am I saying? The sea is calm and everything is under control. This is great sailing. It's like something from a picture. I mean, I already, like, I, you know, I already feel bad that I missed the, the wedding earlier by not going to Danelle when I really should have known I should have checked Danelle. So, it's one of those things where I'm like, well, let's explore. Let's explore the ship. Just to make sure we don't miss anything. If anything, it's probably a bunch of people who have never decided to do this. So, maybe you can see something new. I hope you enjoy the journey on the Queen Fury. A Laxwell trip is good, isn't it? My heart hurts. It stings. A broken heart hurts. Mr. Dark, good luck. Why does your heart hurt? Huh. That guy has his own little story going on, and I have no idea what's going on. But, I mean, that's kind of cool. It makes, it makes the, the world seem more alive when people have other worries. Since then, we haven't heard any rumors about the Phantom Ship. I wonder if the Phantom Ship was finally able to ascend. Is 
selling logbook. Somehow he's avoiding me. He's avoiding me. Wait, wait, there was another line there. There was a line there. I saw it. What was that line? As long as my loved one's happy, it's enough for me. Yes, it has to be enough. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Let us go up first, and then we'll come back and around. I have the night shift today. Please let me sleep. Let me zzz. He really does need to sleep. I mean, look at those eyes. Can't even blink. It's like, ah. Uh, Alyssa Bay can be so calm like this when there are no sea dragon on Wingly. Please enjoy this sound being on calm release the sea. I wonder where this pipe goes. Kayla, check the pressure! Hi, sir. Oh, sorry, everyone. It's alright, I didn't mean to interrupt your work. Everything is under control about the pressure. Alright, thank you. A part of the engine furnace broke from the impact for the phantom ship. I thought we might not be able to make it. The engine is working great. Relax and enjoy your trip. This is driving the ship. What is this mechanism? Oh, we need to chase some wingly. Can it crank you from bumping into a phantom ship? Recently, there's too much load on the engine. I had to take good care of my dear engine. Blame me as blazing. This is the heart of the ship. Part of the ship. Part of the crew. Part of the crew. Part of the ship. Okay, let's run back around. There's something special about playing an RPG. I don't know what it is. It's just... It's nice to get involved with the story, the characters, combat, the, the progression. I mean, there's always something to look forward to. You know, in this game, it's got a lot because you have additions and dragon levels and you have the story. Uh, I mean, there's just so much that you could do in this game. But what I'm not doing is this. How about having a Julian? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not doing this again. My, my finger hurt too much from when I did this last time. If, if there's something special there, let me know, but I don't think I'm going to go back for it. It's it's one of those when mashing really hurt my finger. I got to clean them. Please move over. Being a sail looks hard. They have to clean such a huge boat. The boat is like a house. We have to polish it every single day. Now I want everything clean enough to eat off of. The more you polish your house, the brighter they get. Now I want everything clean up to eat up. Bird droppings ever come off even after I polish, polish, polished, and polished. I wonder why this, only this place has so many bird droppings. Don't look at me. I'm a flightless bird. I, I don't fly overhead and drop things on you. It's such a big ship, but it only uses a fuel that the two of us threw in. It's a very efficient engine. Got to say a big kick from a small amount of labor. The ship has an ideal design. Day after day, we throw the fuel away. Day after day, the ship goes on its way. Hey, that rhymes. I made another song. What if I have a talent? Yeah, you kind of do. The fuel we throw in is driving the ship. It's a great or what? Without us throwing the fuel in, the ship will stop. I'll thank you for all your hard work. I appreciate it. The world appreciates it. You will not be forgotten. Okay, well, I forgot about you already. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it, it's incredible if you think about it. Like, all the stories about people saving the world. And yet, you kind of forget about the people that really helped them get there, you know? They're just as important. Everyone's important. Either everyone is important or no one's important. Let's go, Commodore Pula. Look, Dad, do you want to say this boat has practiced of becoming a man of the sea? Ah, uh, yes, I want to try. 
All right, we'll place the cellar over there, and you may go on the blue yonder. But if we're not good, he'll quickly take care of you. Let's go. I like the ship design. It looks so cool. I mean, I know there's not too much to it. It still looks cool. I mean, the fact they created this, like, th this overworld type map here. Well, not the world type map, but this battle map is amazing. I mean, the fan just heal yourself up. That, that, that addition is a little bit tricky because it's a bop and a bop. Why do we do zero damage? Is this a rare mob? I think this is a rare mob. Yeah, this has to be a rare mob. The question is, do we want to use one of our satchels on it? I kind of don't because if this guy gives me a ton of experience, I don't want these two to benefit from it. I want the characters I take to in-game, but I can always rewind. So let's see what happens when we kill it. I'm pretty sure this will kill it. It did. So the question is, what does the rainbow bird give us? A lot of experience. All right, yeah, yeah, like I said, I don't want to... This, this is someone that... Th this is an enemy that I may want to grind uh, to get additional experience when I, um... Whatchamacallit, when we, uh... When we want to power up our guys. So how do I hurt this thing? Do I use magic? Let's try it out. That's a really cool spell. And it does nothing. So how do you hit this thing? Really fast, too. Gets like two turns. Yeah, that, that just doesn't do it. I have no idea how to hit this thing besides the satchet. Like I said, I don't want these guys to get the uh, bulk of the EXP. Well, at least I can build up some additions on it, right? And, and the other rare enemy that we fought, we could do like one damage when we did an attack, but then it ran away and you kind of have to just hope things worked in your favor. Is this guy gonna run away? Take that flurry of sticks. Yes. Gush. Tell her. Gush. Gush. Her. Who's This guy gonna ever run away? I mean, I don't mind building some additions, but you know, I had to do the addition correctly, of course. I kind of don't want to run away because if I run away, I don't know if I get credit for the all the additions I've done.
Why can't I do his addition all of a sudden? This is wild. And how do you actually hurt this thing? There we go. I guess we got the additions, right? Hopefully. Twenty-nine of forty. Sixty-six. Hey, we hit eighty. Cool. You go to spinning cane now. Hope it's not another bird. Ah, crud it is. Yes. All right, I'm just gonna spray you guys. I'm gonna skip this combat. And uh, I'll see you guys once we once the birds run away. All right, the bird ran away after like two hits. Didn't take long. That's kind of a shame. So that's a great thing to like level additions off of. Outland Village Rogue. Or was it Rouge? Wow. Say hello! This, this place is awesome. Hey, it's been a long time. I wonder if anybody remembers me. A hassle? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> well, it's been maybe 20 years. Been gone for such a long time. How have you been? Hey, I was looking for my runaway daughter, but I give up on it. Claire, huh? That's... I feel sorry to hear that. And who are all these people? Are they your new pupils? Huh. No, they are my friends. I look for you to get to know them. But we uh, don't have time now. I have something important to talk to you about. All right, come up. I'll listen to you. Come on, get over. The floor's gonna give way. Hey, you said you have an important thing to talk to you about, didn't you? Go directly to the mayor's place and don't wander around the practice area. The mayor's waiting for you, all right? All right. Body's good, don't worry. I think I picked up a panic item while I was trying to get here, so definitely need to sell that. Uh, where is it? Poison needle, that's what I picked up. Uh, let's go ahead and sell a, a healing fog. I think healing breezes are probably better. We probably don't need that many healing breezes though. We definitely don't need the sun rhapsody if we have some moon rhapsodies. Um, yeah. Maybe I should try to farm those rainbow birds. Just uh, just to um, get rid of a satchet or two. Hey, I was hoping you'd be a weapon seller. Attack badge I already have. Guard badge I don't want. Giganto. Uh, it's hoping you sold weapons. You don't. I never see people one from Rue. Tell me, what kind of place are you from? What kind of place are you from? Left is always right. Why wow, your clothes look really heavy. How do you fight in those? How do you fight in those heavy looking clothes? It's made from finally one plant. It must be good for murgy nights. Murgy? Muggy. Call a huge chuckle there and to see a ship. 
That's there's a huge ship off the island. Amazing. There's a fire in this, so it makes it even hotter. I talk to this person. Uh, has it changed a bit, huh? No kidding. This village is forgotten. We really have visitors from the continent. All we do is fish and sleep. Fish and sleep. Practice and sleep. Practice and sleep. That's about it. Nothing has changed since Hashal left the village. Say, what's cooking? You came all the way here. Must be something important, huh? Uh, yeah, to be honest, we are looking for the way to the ancient cities. Ancient cities? What the heck are they? Those were towns where the long gone Winglies lived. Do you know anything about them? Uh, Winglies? What on earth are they? You lost me. Uh, you couldn't know. Let me explain. <laughs> Come, sit with me. What are your drinks? Lots of drinks. Good long story. <laughs> A world crisis? That's a pretty awful thing, then. Well, no, duh. It's like the worst thing possible. I mean, that's why we're in a hurry. Are there any old ruins around here? Things that humans couldn't make, you know, like Winglies. Ah, how about this? There was a sick rising out from the sea. Could it be related? Oh, that thing in the sea? Indeed, humans couldn't have made it. A stick? Where is that? It's in the middle of the sea, but you can't get close by boat because it's an awful whirlpool. But you can see it clearly from the cliff top. Okay, that does sound intriguing. Well, it suddenly came up, so you wouldn't have known about it. Shall, uh, shall we try? Hope it's the one you folks want to go to. Absolutely. Big giant pot. Big giant pot. Just decoration. Large pot. Okay, I guess that's not the large pot. Lil. Oh, it's Martel. Large pot. Still. Got it. Hold on, I'll be right back, my towel. Find a hundred gold? There's a stone, there it is. I heard this place called Broken Islands. I heard it from a man who came here when he was a kid. There are lots of villages in Broken Islands. Rogue is the biggest of all. Around these islands, the bride becomes a family member of the groom's island. I'm getting married to him soon. I'll be part of the Rogue family. So, if I had gotten every single Stardust in the game, that would have been number 50. Unfortunately, I didn't get every single Stardust in the game, so that's not number 50. Lil. Martel. You folks. You're from this village too, Martel? Is this why you try and collect Stardust? You're trying to save, uh, your girl? Uh, Martel, now remember. When I left the village, you were still little. I didn't recognize you. Really? Okay. Is she sick? How is she? I mean, I guess that could happen. Not good, but it should be okay with this stardust. Now I'm starting. I beg you, folks, save love for my illness. I will do the best I can. Still need about eight more, though. Wow, or maybe it just worked. I feel refreshed. I feel refreshed, like before I got sick. Lil. Aww. Lil. So what happens if you get zero stardust throughout the game? Ma, I cannot breathe. <laughs> Let's leave them alone. Oh, that's so precious. I love that. Oh, thank you. I just made my night game. Mom saved a little girl. It's awesome. Look, look, I'm so much better. It's amazing. 
Oh, it's you folks. Well, it's become so much better, but if you find more starters, won't you give it to me? I guess it's a partiality of a parent. I want to wish for her so that she won't be sick anymore. Keep your eyes open, will ya? Oh, why don't you take what I have? Martell here. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Thank you very much, then. Gave six starters. It's my chance to return your favorite. Take this. Alright, what's the reward for number 40? It's the rare thing I promise. Fired rainbow earrings. Okay. What do those do? Thanks to you folks, my goal is doing fine. Rainbow earring. It's a ribbon. I think that's really, really good. Absolutely. Though the interesting thing is, in this game, it's not as important as what you might think. Because if you change it to Dragoon form, you automatically have stats. But what if it protects against death too? Do the Rainbow Ears protect against death as well? Because if so, then that would make it better. Vogue is more like a family in a village. Everybody in the village is a member of the family. Did you want to be a part of the Vogue family? There are no animals in Vogue that would attack people, so we don't need protective clothing like you have. Uh, so I had a martial art using light steps was born. Hmm. Cool. More gods calling. I think that increases your attack percentage. There's also a chest down there that you have to get somehow. Maybe if we go down this uh, ladder. It would make sense considering placement. Yep, I think that's it. I'm just gonna sue yourself, alright? Satori vest. I am willing to bet anything that's a better armor for a hassle. Minor improvement, but it avoids poison stun and arm blocking. So not bad. Also, plus five magic defense. Do you fight with a sword? I do. We don't need weapons. Our fist is enough. I am the weapon. That's what he's basically saying. <laughs> ah, I gotta go up and around. I think I could have only gone left to begin with. I said like left is right earlier, but I don't think you can go right because you can't go up that ladder. You got to drop down from that ladder. Yeah, I'm I mistook that. I thought you could go up one of these ladders, like right here. You can't. No weapon shop though, just a jewelry shop and an item shop. It's a little just. But again, again, they only fight with fists, so you wouldn't expect them to have weapons, right? It does make sense from a lore point of view. What is that? That's not a stick coming out of the ground. I must be what the man was talking about. That thing is huge. Huh, there was no stick 20 years ago when I was here. It's huge and more like a tower than a stick. Yeah, I'm with Meryl on that one. This structure could never be made by human technology. Rose, do you know anything about it? You were there once, weren't you? That's right. Rose is one of the dragoons who liberated humans. Don't you remember anything? Charlie said the Cygnus Spheres remain in the magic city Aglis, the death city Mayfield, and the lost city Zenobathos. If I remember correctly, there was only one magical city Aglis in this region of the sea. Charlie must have made us come here because she thinks Zeig will go out to the Cygnus Sphere of Aglis first. Rose, a question please. 
What the heck is a law city or whatever they call it? What do they mean? I was thinking about that too. The Crystal Palace was called the Burst City too. The Burst City Crystal Palace was a city where babies were selected to be born. Select babies? Those with weak magic power weren't allowed to be born. Wow, that's very Spartan of them. That's awful. And the Death City Mayfield was where the souls of the dead were sent to an infernal world. Wigglies in the past had even their destination after death decided for them. Do you want to know anything else? Whoa! Okay, we're been lying. It was the capital of the Wingly world, dominated by Melbourne Fama. It was the center of politics and the military. That's why it was so damaged. Well, like, that's the reason why it is a forbidden land now. First city, Crystal Palace. I already told you, you are helpless. The first city, Crystal Palace, was the city where babies were selected to be born. Those would be... Okay, she already said that. <laughs> Don't make me say it again. Okay, yeah, yeah. She's getting mad at me. Lost City Zenobatos. The Lost City Zenobatos was the city where Wingly Zars were made. Publicly, they claimed it was for justice, but in reality, there were jaws to judge other species. Also, trials and executions were carried out in Zenobatos. I can easily imagine what kind of travels there were. Gives me the creeps. Uh, Magical City Agnes. The Magical City Agnes was a city where the magic was studied. It is astonishing that even though they have much more magic than now, they still studied it so deeply. It would never happen now. Uh, you were carefree, Mary. You uh, really know this stuff. It is Agnes. If it is Agnes, how can we approach it? We gotta hurry or Zeke will get there fast. Well, we cannot go by boat. We gotta find some other way. Really? Got a big giant boat, we can't go that way? Love how the people all part and as soon as we leave, they go back. It's almost like they're afraid of us. Instantly, I want to go back. I know there's a lot of stardust up here, but there could be other things and there's also people to talk to. Realization of progress makes even a hard practice enjoyable. Why don't you learn a martial art? You can trade both your heart and body. Yeah! Da! Discipline your body and discipline your heart. Then the tower of the martial art will open itself. Never forget it. Physical strength is not the real source of power. The strength of the heart is the real source. Never forget it. You are going near the stick? It's impossible. There's a big whirlpool around the stick. No boat can go there. There's a big whirlpool around the stick. It's impossible to go near the by the boat. I still remember uh, playing Final Fantasy VII. And it was the Shinra. That was like my favorite thing. The Shinra. Never Shinra, just it was always the Shinra. Just made me laugh. Mind me of wrestling. There's a group called The Judgment Day instead of just Judgment Day. And they always call themselves The Judgment Day. Mirror Room, Aglet's the Magical City. What the heck is going on here? Uh, hello? How is this happening? When did this happen? What the heck? What's wrong, Rose? What the heck is going on? We were being watched by somebody. Oh, someone's watching us. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Being watched? Whoa! Huh, what's going on? But the sea is flooding. Let's go. Big giant sea monster are gonna come up. I hope not. I haven't had a chance to get um Hashel's power back yet. I love how Mirror's pointing at it. She's like, hey, look over there! And Hashel's like, oh yes, I see it. Hashel and Mirror have a really cool. Well, like, oh my god. What is happening to the stick? 
What is that? The magical city of has revealed itself. Yeah, no duh. Hassel, is that what you were looking for? Uh, it seems like it. They got that it found us. <laughs> now we can go in before see. Let's go. Looks like we're walking along the ocean floor. That's pretty really cool. I want to see what everyone's saying. Did they see a split? What's going on? What's going on? I'm scared. Darn, they see a split. Darn. Yeah, I love how that's all you can say. Darn. Or well, speaking of pairs, it's going to be I, I, I wouldn't be able to say much about this either. What the heck is with the stick? Why'd it come up from the sea? Gosh, the number of sticks multiplied. I wonder if the number of sticks will multiply again. The stick must be the ancient city of those what you would call winglies. It has enormous power, making a road by splitting the sea. Is this some kind of curse? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful. A road of the sea from the stick is as if it's waiting for someone to take it. As if this stick is calling someone. Ooh, I like that. that, that that's, that, that's, yeah. Is it calling to us though, or is it calling to Zeke? That's the million dollar question. So how do I get there? One boat? No kidding, your folks are gonna put to sea, aren't you? We are going to go. Don't you know what's going on? The sea split and weird stuff appeared. That's why we are here. Folks are insane! <laughs> yep. I mean, the insanity of this dragon stones is a thing, right? That's a cool little town. Oh my god. There was a road formed on the bottom of the sea. It's true. If we take a boat, we can walk from midway. Um, go to Agus. There's no need to hesitate. Let's go into Agla. Yeah, I have no need to. I, I have no reason to hesitate. I'm not going back for all the uh, the other um, Stardust until we get uh, a way to travel quickly between areas. So we tally on. Hey, Kongles and scene. What's going on here? Magic. Someone's supporting this with magic? It seems we are invited. It's convenient for us. We have no reason to say no. This door is not locked either. Dart, you go ahead and open it. Zeke will come here to destroy the signet sphere. We will have to finally settle things, so I want you to open the first door. Alright, but I think that's gonna have to wait for next time, my dear friends. I hate to leave it like this, but it, I mean, it's, it's like 1.40 in the morning and I still have to render this video. So hey, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And I will talk to you all again very soon. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.